Hi CC families, this is week one memory work for our ABCDarians. It was a great first week. I think we all learned a lot about uh, how the class is going to go. So um, here's your new memory work so that you can practice at home all week. Um, don't forget for next week's presentation, if you can find something that starts with the letter B to give two or three clues or pieces of information about them and then have the class guess what you brought or just show and um, tell us what you brought. Either way is fine. Um, so here's our new memory work. Um, first we'll do timeline. This is the beginning of the song so you have the introduction that goes time like a watch, line, timeline, this is my timeline, timeline, timeline. We'll start at the beginning of the age and then age of ancient empire. It's like a zigzaggy beard. Age of Ancient Empires, um, creation to circa 450 AD. Creation and the fall, the flood, and the Tower of Babel. Mesopotamia, you're going to take a hand and split your fingers on your other hand. Mesopotamia and Sumer. Make R's, crisscross your fingers. Mesopotamia and Sumer, it's the sign for rivers. Egyptians. It's a little uh, like a cobra, like a hook off your forehead. That's what they would have on their crowns or their headdresses. Egyptians. Uh, uh, 3000 BC. 3000 BC. Um, Indus River Valley Civilizations. Minoans, like um, the horns of a bull, Minoans. And take the same sign and go down from your ear with a twist. Um, this is a symbol for gold, and this is Mycenaeans. Um, so those are your uh, motions for timeline. Um, next, we'll do history. For history, we sang the song with the CD, and our motions went like this. In 1492, see for Columbus. Columbus made the first of four trips to the Caribbean, and we did another C, and then we made it into like a spyglass that he would have looked through. In three Spanish ships named the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. And three is the number of ships, but it's also like the three masts, right, that they would have had on their ships back then. So we named them the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. So you can practice that with the song this week. Um, for geography, we pointed to their maps that they have in their folder. Um, and you can probably find this and print this off of CC Connected if you're on there, or you can use any map of the United States um, that, you know, is labeled, or if you want to practice finding them on an unlabeled map, because um, we are going to be trying that too. We have a, a black line map in here for later in the year. But we pointed, and we said the states and capitals, and we also sang to the song that's on the CD. Okay, so... Um, we didn't really have any motions this week for that. We were just pointing and saying Augusta, Maine, Concord, New Hampshire, Boston, Massachusetts, Providence, Rhode Island, and um, Hartford, Connecticut. Um, again, if you have the song on the CD, we just sang along with that this week. Science, what are four types of tissue? I have a helper over here. Hi. <laughs> what are four types of tissue? Four types of tissue are connective, connect your hands, epithelial, they are your skin cells, so we touched our skin, muscle, obviously we're going to make muscles, and nerve, um, nerves fire with little zaps, so we zapped our fingers on nerve, so connective, epithelial, muscle, nerve. For math, we put out one finger to count the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Almost like directing a choir in three, four time. For twos, we sang the song. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. Do you want to hear some more? And we said anything that you have two of, you could sing with this song. So if you have two cheeks, four, four, four. You could be silly with that. We did our elbows, whoops, um, knees, feet, whatever you have two of, you could kind of wave those around and sing your twos. Um, English, we did a rap. 
we did infinitive, like infinity goes on and on. So an infinitive is two plus a verb used as a noun, adjective, or adverb. Okay, so an N for noun, an A for adjective, another A for adverb. Um, and we just wrapped and chanted that, and sometimes in different voices is fun too. And then our Latin was to the tune Pop Goes the Weasel. We did uh, like this. Latin prepositions in, in, I put with, pair, through, sine, without. Latin prepositions. And of course we fed Leo the Latin lion during review time. So the more Latin we learn, the more we can feed Leo and give him bigger and bigger snacks and dinners and fill him up with our Latin words. Um, so do practice those, that'll be fun in review time. Um, I think that is all of our memory work for this week, and I can't wait to see you again next week. Practice all your memory work so that we can do all our fun review games next week with this and our new memory work next week.